So today's video, we are going to be playing Connecticut State Roleplay. So in today's Connecticut State Roleplay, we are going to be going over all of the civilian cars. So this isn't going to be including the donation cars because I already have a video on it. If you want to go watch that video, uh, I do have a video on it. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you do want to watch it. So we're going to be going over all of the cars you will get if you just play the game. You don't really want to buy the game passes or you just love all the cars. I'll be writing them all uh, through a scale, 1 through 10. I won't be doing speeds, of course, but I'm doing interior, all that cool stuff. So how about we get straight into the game and check out all these Civ cars. Let's go. Alrighty, we are now at the location where we are going to be doing all of the cars. So if you don't already know, we have a lot of vehicles to go over. Let me just check. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait. Five, six, seven. That's 29 total cars that we're going over in this one video. So stay tuned and comment down below your favorite car. So I love making these types of videos. So how about we start off with the 20 and also another thing. Some of these cars are like glitched out so they don't work. So starting off with the 2013 Explorer. Let's just let it load in. So, okay, let me turn on the light. So, um, on this car, you do have a spawn car menu, so we'll just make it white, and as you can see, starting off, we have, uh, it is a Ford, as you can see as well, and I love how all of the cars sit, have an actual license plate. As you can see, we, we have the orange and the wheel as well, um, around, this is what it looks like from the back, and also, it says police interceptor. This is not a police car. I... I don't think I was supposed to see that. So on the inside, the wheel actually moves. And as you can see, we have a bunch of buttons over here. It does have a startup sound, which is also pretty nice. Let me just... And driving is pretty nice. Very smooth to drive this car. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I wouldn't be driving this mostly, but I know a lot of people will. So I'll give it about a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have the 2001 Silverado. So as you can see, we have, it is a Chevy and the lights, of course, I believe they're tripled lights. And it's a pretty nice car with the wheels and also it says uh, 1500 on it. I like the silver wheel and it also says Chevy trucks and which is also very realistic. Um, going into the back area, uh, you can see you would store your stuff in here, maybe uh, anything you really need. And you also have a thing that you can jump on top of to get all of that cool stuff as well. On the inside, it man, who I, I need to clean out my cars. What is going on? So the seats, they're pretty nice, but um, I don't know if it's not loaded in or I'm just not good with keeping stuff clean. Like, look at this. It looks so dirty. This is not good. What is this guy doing over here? All right, let's just try to get away from this. All right, that was like tag. That was really scary to get out of. But we are back, and I did give the Silverado a 6 out of 10. It wasn't, uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan. So next up, we have the 2014 Ram uh, 2500 or 250. Uh, so as you can see, there is a nice orange light on top, and this is nice. Like, look at this engine. I believe the engine would be here. I believe it would be a very loud, but the wheels are pretty nice. It also says Ram on it, and it looks like double-wheeled, so eight wheels total with the exhaust right here. All pretty nice with the Ram logo as well. Uh, okay, S car will just go to this. And as you can see, the lights on the top, like right here, they don't actually... Uh, light up, but you would know how they would light up. So pretty cool as well. So I'm going to give this a six out of ten. I'm not a big fan of trucks in Connecticut, really. Um, it's nice, but I don't really like them. So next up is the BMW X5. So let's wait, let's go right here. All right, let's just go black. Or uh, no, let's go black again. So as you can see on the inside, it is very modern and luxury. As you can see with the BMW, we have uh, looks like a wood pattern and our speed over here. Nice little screen over there and anything else you need. The wheels, uh, double BMW. I don't think 
that one's supposed to be there. I'm finding glitches at the same moment. I don't think that's just supposed to be there. And with the nice little double um, thing right here, pretty nice. And if you haven't, uh, if you can't see already, all the license plates are different. So, like, this license plate isn't going to be the same as a different license plate with the BMW. So, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10. Pretty nice. And we're going back to the 2014. I forgot to check out the inside. So, if you want to see it, of course, there's not much to see. This one doesn't have much design, but still pretty nice as well. So, moving on to the 2014 Tahoe. So, as you can see, this is a beautiful design. Uh, I love the lights and just this. Um... Like the fencing or the vent right there. Very nice with the black wheels. I would drive this in black to be like stealthy. And just it's a very nice car uh, overall. On the inside you can see it is the white and black theme. I believe a different color car would be different. I do not know. So the wheel actually spins and we have all of this nice stuff. Like our seat belt. And there's three back seats. So all pretty nice. I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the 2014 Charger. So as you can see, this is a earlier design. Not the latest, but still pretty nice car overall with the white rims in the back looking like this. It would be cool, but I feel like it would be much if you could like actually open the doors on every car. I think it would lag. So as you can see, it says Dodge right here with the logo, and it actually moves the door. And everything else is actually pretty nice. And here's the horn. So I'm going to give this... A 9 out of 10. The first good car that I actually like. I would want to drive that normally. But, you know. Next up is the uh, 2016 Emplala. Uh, never mind. I'm not even going to try. Okay, we gotta, gotta hope that cop doesn't see me. I think we did it! I don't know what that cop's doing though. Don't be taking a Yui. Please don't take a Yui. All right, there we go. I'm so scared of them. So the 2016 Impala. Uh, so as you can see, it is also a Chevy. And it's kind of like a nicer car, like a, a smaller car as well. And pretty nice overall. I like this logo right here. It looks like a deer. We'll call it that. Chevy Loco LTZ. And the inside, it's what I am ready for. I swear if that cup comes up on me. So the steering wheel moves, and it kind of looks like we're closer. You have the orange, white, and black going around the cup holders. It looks like there's also a little sunroof right here. Can we, like... No, we cannot. But it would be cool if you could actually do this. I would want to drive in this, because it's like a car you would, like, see everywhere. So, pretty nice car. I'll give it a 9.1 out of 10. You know... You would not expect me to say that, but I did. So, Ram uh, 350. We don't have a year on it, though. So, as you can see, let's let it load in. All right. So, as you can see, it says Ram, and look at this monster. It is very high off the floor with the big wheels and, you know, the back where you're going to store your stuff. There's only two seats in here, so if you and your friends are trying to go, uh, I don't know why there's no wheel. You know, you got to learn. You don't need a wheel. You got to learn the hard way. You don't need a wheel. All right. So pretty nice again. And I want to make a little announcement in this video. So if you can't already tell my ranks, I'm Trooper First Class, Firefighter 2, and EMT. It just doesn't pop up. So which is very exciting for me. I'm trying to get Sergeant and um, Engineer and AEMT. I bet I can do it. And I think it would make my videos much better. So be, just look out for that. So next car is the 2018 Charger. And sorry, my voice sounds like this. It is currently nine o'clock and you know, I don't know. <laughs> That's all I got to say. So as you can see, let me just get out of this. So as you can see with the nice vent right here and the lights, I love this natural color with the white rims as well. The back looking the same as the 2014. On the inside, the wheel actually moves and the seats, if you, and the uh, little things you would hold on to, and this would come down. No sunroof on this. Also, what was I going to say? You can also change the uh, what you want, like miles per hour, if you want to do on kilometers or SPS. So all pretty cool. They go in different like things. And gears you change with LT, I believe. You can just go like that. So pretty cool as well. So next up on the list is the uh, 2015 F-150. 
but loading. So look at this. This is really nice. It's one of the newer designs, 2015. But I feel like this should be a newer. Like look at this. The detail on this. It shows the wheel, uh, what it's made from. Uh, Ford, of course, and F-150. Um, looks like you could actually hook stuff onto the back if you needed to do any of that. On the inside, the wheel. Excuse me. The wheel actually moves, but what the heck? Paul's iPhone, Michigan Avenue, 96.32, and the time, or not the time, uh, the temperature. That is pretty cool, like that detail. You gotta respect the detail. So all pretty nice again. I'll give this a 8 out of 10. I also forgot to review the last two cars, or rate them. Um, we'll get... Actually, I think I did, but we'll give the Ram a 8 and this a 9. Uh, the 2018 Charger a 9. Next up is the 1994 F350. So as you can see, look at this. This is really nice with the uh, brown and the black and the logo. The wheels look really old. Like, what the heck? How old is that? And with the black and the detail, pretty nice as well. And look how it's supported. It's supported. Like, that's, this is an old truck. It looks like it got wrecked a little bit, but, you know, it's fine. So the color, like, I don't know why the seats expand like this. Maybe 1994 is like this. I don't know. And this goes really fast. I'm not testing it. Maybe that'll be a different video. Like, look at this. I'm giving it a 3 out of 10. I would, <laughs> I'm not driving it. I promise you. If you see me. You know, that would be very strange. The next up is the Cadillac CTS-V. So as you can see, very nice car with the yellow, uh, red, and blue logo at the front. Okay, wait. There's a cop. Okay, okay. I, uh, are you kidding me? You're just gonna... You're, you're gonna have your lights on. Alright, thank you. Let, you know, we're gonna watch this from the back. Let's see what, let's see what he or she does. You don't need your lights on. Okay. I swear to God, if you turn. All right, there we go. Cops in this. Cops are very weird. Not some cops. All right. So as you can see, it is the white rim with the red on here. Pretty nice. This is one of my favorite cars in the game. I drive it a lot with the red as well. On the inside, there's been an issue. And as you can see, the logo doesn't move with the car. It's been like that for a couple of years. I don't think they're ever going to change it. Looks like there's a chase going on. I don't think they will, but I like the red seats. And all of that is pretty nice. And the nice little spoiler, uh, spoiler, spoiler as well. So let's get this. Look at this. This is a nice little car. I really like it. I give this a 9.8 out of 10. One of my favorite cars in the whole game. I love it way too much. I've been with it forever. The 1995 Ram. And so as you can see, this is also pretty nice. It's one of uh, the older designs. The wheels are very thick. There's only two spots in this one as well. Um, I love how you can change the color. The back is where you're going to store everything. The wheel actually moves on this one. It just looks like um, not as much detail. But I like how detail is still being used on this. So pretty nice. I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Next up is the uh, Yukon. I believe this is GMC. Yes, it is. So look at this. This looks like a car that you would transport someone in with the huge vent and the uh, black wheels. The Dina Cal. Okay, nobody say anything. I said that whore. Dina. Then and now. Okay, that's what we're going to leave it at. I like this uh, very much. On the inside, you can see that we have a sunroof right here inside is kind of plain uh as the other car uh compared but uh we have back seats as well pretty nice so i'm gonna give this a 8.5 out of 10 very nice one of my favorites in the whole entire game for all teams as well next up uh, we're gonna count this we're gonna do the harley so this is counted as a motorcycle a harley davidson so this is pretty nice there's not much to really see but as you can see this also moves it is pretty nice but uh fail rp fail roleplay with this it's so annoying there's way too much of it i hate to see it so i'm gonna have to give it 
Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna give it a four out of ten because I, I love it so much, but I feel like people abuse it. But my honest rating will be an eight out of ten. I love it. I can't drive it well, but I still love it. Next up is the 2011 Expedition. So as you can see, look at this. I love this car design. Um, I would not want this IRL. Like it's not my favorite car. You know. Wait. Does it say the police thing again? No, it doesn't. Never mind. It said something else, though. Oh, fuel. Flex fuel. What's going on? All right, so as you can see, the steering wheel actually moves. We have um, cup spots. And is that a knife? Oh, no. That's, a, that's the thing where you change the gears. Never mind. So as you can see, pretty nice overall. I'll give it a uh, 7 out of 10. Oh, there's a person. <sighs> Taking a turn. All right. So if you're wondering why I'm acting scared or something, I don't want fans to see me and like crowd up on me because it's happened before. You know, I like it, but it can get annoying. So next up is the Crown Vic. There's no exact model on this one. I do not know what it is, though. So as you can see, it is a Ford as well with the wheels. Um, The design. Wait, does this say police? It says police interceptor again. Why? Why do all they... <laughs> Why do they all say that? So as you can see that inside the wheel actually moves. I don't know what this is and that. It looks like the light. Um, the nice uh, seats as well. So pretty nice. Again, look at this. Very nice car. Uh, so I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I don't know if we're going to get a 10 out of 10. Like the whole video. Because we're not doing donation pass. So keep that in mind. Next up is... The, uh, the Mustang GT. So as you can see, look at this beast with the horse. This thing can speed, if you can already tell. It can go like 200 plus. Um, maybe I should make a video going over speeds. On the inside, the wheel actually moves. There is a lot of white, so you can look around, pause if you want, if you want to see all this with the speed. And also, Paul is calling on the phone. You, you gotta know it. So I'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10. I love it so much, but like I can't say it's the best. Next up is the 2018 ex uh, Expedition. So if you do not already know, this car has the most seats out of any car. But if you use all the seats in it, it lags the game. I've done it before. So as you... Cops going there. I can't tell if that person was on a motorcycle or they're just invisible. I think they're on a motorcycle. So this car can fit the most people on the inside. Still pretty nice with all of this nice luxury. So as you can see, the back. So we're up to four seats. And then five seats, six seats, and the middle. Seven seats in one vehicle, which is crazy. That's seven out of 20. Of the whole server in one vehicle. What if you have two people. Or three people in those cars. Filling up the whole server. That is crazy. I sh That's crazy. Next up. I'll give that a 9 out of 10. For just being impressive. The Jeep Rub uh, Rubicon. So let me just make this brighter. Because it is very dark. Sorry about that. Um, Alright. So here we go. So as you can see. This is a very nice Jeep. And I just love this model a lot. So as you can see, it says Wrang uh, Wrangler Unlimited. There's unlimited models of this car with the extra wheel on the back. Uh, down here, it looks like we have uh, stuff so you can connect it. Uh, the wheels are also pretty nice with the back. On the inside, the wheel actually moves, as you can see. So all pretty nice as well. A very... It could be used as an army vehicle, shouldn't be, but very big car. Nice to use. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Next up is the 2015 F350. So as you can see, let's make this a brighter color so you can see. So as you can see, um, pretty nice with the orange and the white. Um, some of these cars, it's a different, it's the different wheel brand. It is BF Goodrich. Pretty nice as well with the uh, little... What's it called? What's that thing called? Not a camera. I don't. I forgot. So, sorry about that. So on the inside, pretty nice again. I kind of like this uh, detail or the texture. That's the word. With the miles per hour. All this cool stuff as well. Pretty 
nice as well. So I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I feel like we're not going to get a 10 out of 10, which is sad. Uh, so the Volvo is one of the cars that we can't spawn in. Next up is the 2013. Okay, I just deleted it. So the Volvo, like I said, we can't drive it. It's a very nice car. RIP. We can't, we can't drive it. It's very sad. We can't. Why can't we drive it? Somebody tell me. So next up, the car we are in, the 2013 Silverado. We are getting to the end. Crazy. Uh, so as you can see, these cars are getting better and better with the wheels. This isn't even a wheel brand. Actually, never mind. It is. I just can't see it. I'm blind. So as you can see the back as well, this is a Silverado. Uh, so also pretty nice on the inside. As you can see, the wheel doesn't move, uh, but in roleplay it would. You can't see much, but the inside also pretty nice. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Next up is the Tundra. Uh, okay, is this a Chevy? Oh, we can't even spawn it in. Very sad. Um, next up is the minivan. So as you can see, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No, we, this might be it. This might be it. Look at this Dodge. This Dodge minivan. This might be the one. Look at this. Oh my, does the, okay. There's no inside. What the heck is, is that a snake? Okay, never mind. Okay, the inside is a little bit plain. Pretty nice. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. You did not expect that. I'm not being biased. I promise you. Next up is the 1990 uh, Camaro. Look at this. This is nice. It is a two-seater, but this looks like a Cobra Kai car. I don't know why. But pretty nice as well. Uh, a very tiny. I believe I'm taller than the car. So that, that's how tiny it is. I'm small as well. On the inside, not much to see. Just the two seats and the miles per hour. I'm going to give this a 9.8 out of 10. Very nice car. I love how the lights like flash on and then very fast turn off. Pretty nice as well. Next up is the 2020 Tahoe. So as you can see, this is the newest design out except for the 2022, which is really nice. Uh, so pretty nice. I like the all black. While going through the cars, the black color changed a lot and went from like being like glory to be being plain black. And this is stealth. This is the legit stealth car. Look at this on the inside or not, not in the inside, but on this, the wheel actually moves a different little um, app uh, placement with the white and black going and the blue going everywhere. I'm going to give this a 9.7 out of 10. And the final car, the Ford Transit. Isn't this like a... Oh, I forgot. This is this is a van. I thought this was going to be like the best vehicle of all time. It, it might be. Like, this is like a delivery van. And the wheel actually moves. I like it. Pretty nice as well. So as you can see, pretty nice as well. You can store anything you want in the back. Sadly, in roleplay, you can't. So sad. But I'll give it a 8 out of 10. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video on playing Connecticut State Roleplay and checking out all the civilian cars. Comment down below what you want me to review next or play next. So I hope you guys... And another thing, Pennsylvania State Roleplay. I'm doing a lot on the game and it's going to come out in the next month or a couple weeks, which is crazy. So tell everybody about that. Discord server is in the link down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And goodbye. See you. Is this the link? No.